Hello, in this uh, new video we'll discuss about how to use a new device which is the Turbu Haler. So the Turbu Haler is most commonly used in an inhaler called Symbicord. So Symbicord is a very common inhaler used in asthma and COPD. Um, Symbicord is usually a combination inhaler. This, this can be something else rather than Symbicord, but if it is Symbicord, remember it's a combination inhaler. It has two medications inside. One is a bronchodilator, which opens up the airways, and one is a corticosteroid, which lowers the inflammation in your airways. So it's important to know that because if it contains a corticosteroid, you must remember to take a bit of water, rinse, gargle, and spit after you use the inhaler. So you don't, you're not left with that powder that can uh, facilitate fungal growth in your throat, okay? So this really only needs to go into your lungs. And if you take it correctly, it's absolutely fine. Uh, the other thing I need to mention is that it's a dry powder inhaler. So it contains a little bit of powder inside. The medication comes as a powder, as a dust. You need to really take a forceful breath in from this device to get that dust moving from the inhaler deep into your lungs, right? How do you use this thing? Basically, if you hold it like this, hold the red bottom, grab onto the top, and just twist it off. And there we go. You can see the inhaler here. It's got a little bit of a dose counter here. I'm not sure if the camera will zoom into it. Anyway, it's this thing here. So basically there is a dose counter. It doesn't seem to zoom into the number, but it's showing, if you believe me, 80. Uh, there we go. Right, okay. And the dose counter is there and uh, you've seen it. And then this is the mouthpiece from which you will be inhaling the powder from. Now, this isn't ready to use yet because there's an extra step. So when you're ready to use the inhaler, you need to activate it. So how do you do this? You hold on to it, to the white part, and you grab onto the, the red bottom and you twist it clockwise and clockwise. Okay, so you have to do a motion like this and then twist back and it will go click. You probably have heard, you have probably heard the click. Once it's done, it's ready to use. So basically you just hold it, take the air out of your lungs and forceful breath in, hold it for about 10 seconds if you can, slowly release. So I'll demonstrate. Right, and slowly release. So I may have hold, uh, held it less than 10 seconds, but this is for the purposes of the video. <clears throat> Once I'm done with this, I just basically put the top right back on. Uh, the powder doesn't taste of anything. Uh, so it doesn't taste like anything. So sometimes you may not feel uh, the powder going in because it's so fine, but that's all right. Remember to rinse uh, and gargle and spit after you use it so that none of the powder is left in your throat. It shouldn't be there. I'll just demonstrate again, so you get a bit more clarity. So you're holding it like this, twist the top off. You can see the, the dose counter a little bit better now, all right? And then I activate it by twisting and twisting back, and you've heard the click. And now I'm ready to use it, all right? Air comes out. and slowly release, okay? So try to hold it uh, in longer if you can. Okay, so that's basically it. The dose counter would go down, but because these come in, in, in 20s. So this will slowly start to go down, but it, you have to take quite a few doses. The dose counter is a lot smaller than on other devices, but it, it works very well. It's very easy to use actually, if you get the hang of it. Once you're done, you just twist it back in. So that's the tube you have. Uh, right, so uh, if you have any questions, do put a comment below. I'll try to answer them if I can, or maybe someone else can, can answer your question. And see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.